going up, going out, going down. So we'll do the ups first. So the best way to study this is start in the heart, right? And then you're going to go up, so ascending aorta, and then be an arch, so arch. And then it varies by which side of the head I'm going to go to, but I'm going to go up to your left side. So I'm going to go up this tube here, which is the common carotid, because it's one in my neck. And then here, I'm going to start splitting. So you can't see it well, but the carotid would go into my skull, so internal carotid, and half it would come out here, which would be external carotid, so it splits. So would that be internal? Yeah, and this model is hard, I can't see, I'm pretty sure that is the internal, because it doesn't keep going. But the, the guy on wheels, he actually will show the connection. So I did up, ascending, arch, common carotid, internal, external carotid. <coughs> then once I'm at your head, basically, I start changing the name based on where I go. So you have one here, which is on the side of your head, temporal, temporal or superficial temporal will be formal name, because on the side of my temples. Then you're going to go under the jaw, so that's going to be the maxilla, mm -hmm. and then you come up kind of the face, right? So basically, every time it turned or splits, you give it a new name. So now if I want to come down from my head, it's going to be the same superficial temporal vein, maxillary vein, except now I use jugular because it's one of those that has a different name. So I have my jugulars to come down right here. You said the occipital, right? The occipital, the occipital will be, they don't show it connecting here, but it's right here. Okay. Right. So now let's pretend we am going to do an arm. Ascending, arch. Now I'm going to go up this way. So I'm in your clavicle, but I'm below it. So how do you say below your clavicle? Subclavicular. The trick is, when I go through your armpit, I'm magically now, what? Axillary. Brachial. Gets me here. And then I have to remember, okay, this is my pinky side, which would be ulnar. Thumb side would be radial, right? So I'm just going to use the same biology I had before. When I get down to my palm, that's going to be my superficial palmer. And then what do you call fingers? Well, those are digital. digits, so there should be a digital on there. Yes, there is, right? You can't see the subscapular on this model, but it'd be below your scapula on the back of the green board. So that one's not shown. But basically, you just name the parts from 231, subclavian, axillary, brachial, you kind of get your way down there. And then going back would be basically the same naming. So I have a radial vein, the ulnar vein, brachial vein, which they cut here, axillary, and then brachiocephalic, and subclavian, and all that. Now the problem with veins is there's extra ones that aren't on the arteries. So if you go to your vein sheet, you'll notice that there's a few extra words that aren't on the artery side. So if you go down, you will see basilic and cephalic. This is called your ABC rule. So those are extra veins in your arm that you don't have as an artery. So the trick is that basalic means bottom, cephalic means towards your head. So this blue one here, which goes above your arm like that, that's your cephalic, because it's closer to my head to some drunk Roman one day. The one down here, which is at the bottom of the arm, is your basilic, because your brachial was in the middle of those three. So you have, here's two veins that don't match an artery. You don't have a cephalic artery, but you have a cephalic vein, a basilic vein, next to my brachial vein. So that's one of those weird ones where there's an extra plumbing in the vein side. But otherwise, the rest of it would be the same. All right, All right so now we got to go this way. So I go up an arch. Now I'm going to descend behind my heart. And then you can't see it, but the, the aorta comes down like that, called thoracic, in my chest. Then pops out abdominal here. So now I'm just going to do the legs. I'll go back up and do the stuff. So if I do my legs, I'm coming down my abdominal aorta. I'm now going to split here near my hips. Well, that's my ilium, so that's my iliac. Which one is it? It's one of them before it splits. That's common. I then split, so I have an internal, which is the 31. I have an external, which keeps going. The minute I pop out of my hips, I'm now magically ephemeral because I'm in my thigh. That would go down my thigh, which I show kind of here and here. I'm going to go behind your knee. So what was behind the knee in 231? Popliteal. Then I'm going to basically end up down in your shins. So if you go back in here, I have an anterior tibial and a fibular. So anterior tibial means front of shin. That's going to be this one. And, and fibular was the back, kind of the side of it, which is back here. You can't see it real well, the way they show it. And then I'm going to end up somewhere on my foot, dorsalis pedis. Right? 
metatarsals. So it's the same naming game as 231, and going back would be the same naming. The only difference is you have an additional vein here that doesn't have an artery. That would be the saphenous. That's the one that's an extra. The same thing. External iliac, internal iliac, common iliac vein, vena cava nut. So if you can get there and just reverse your course, you'd have the veins going backwards. Now the harder one is the guts, because they come out. So if you come down, right here, this big lump is the, is the uh, celiac trunk. If you go to your artery page, there's a celiac trunk, which in English means a bunch of, a bunch of plumbing for your guts. So that's my celiac trunk. That services pretty much everything in the abdomen. So then you have to name where it goes. So this red one here, number 25, it's going from my celiac trunk to my spleen. So how would you say that? How would you say artery to spleen? Spleniac. Spleniac or splenic, sure. It's also going to my liver. How would you say liver artery? Hepatic. Hepatic. It would also go to my stomach. How would you say stomach artery? Gastric. Gastric. It would also go to my intestines, which would be mesenteric. So that little part there is going to split and go to everything. And depending on which board you're on, varies how it looks. So I can see the splenic fine. I can see the hepatic fine. I know from my experience that this is the superior mesenteric. This is the inferior mesenteric. But you can't see the intestines to know that. You just have to memorize that. And this is the gastric here. These ones go to my kidneys. How do you say kidney in the real world? Me? Renal. <laughs> and these two would go to my gonads, either male or female. So how do you say going to gonads? You say gonadal. And all those are coming out of... The celiac trunk does the first ones. The renals and gonadals are separate. But in the guts, just name the organ and make it sound doctory. Liver tube, hepatic. Spleen tube, splenic. Kidney tube, renal. What was, yeah. the, what was the gonadal one? Uh, gonadal. These two. And they don't show the veins in that one. So a good way to study is like you're doing, is go, try to go in your head from here to here. Make the route there and make the route back, because there are some differences. If I go to my, my left side, I can go from my aorta to my subclave in and out. If I go to my right side, though, there's a brachiocephalic artery in the way. So if I go to my right arm, I have to go aorta to brachiocephalic, that's the jumper, to get to over to here, which is the subclavian. So that's one of those where there's not a pair. You have one brachiocephalic artery on the right side. You have no brachiocephalic artery on the left, but you have two brachiocephalic veins, though, one on each side. So you're not mm -hmm. symmetric mm -hmm. there. And that's, and that's really one of the few places you're going to have a right and left Why difference. Why are they called the cum carotids if they're because they split, separate? Because they split at your head. So they're common until they get to your skull, and then they split. So everything's common is before, before it splits. Common iliac is before it splits in the thigh or the hip. Common carotid is before it splits in your skull. They just, that's just the rule they always did. So, and then what makes this worse is the veins in the gut look different than the arteries they're named with. So here's a splenic vein, I can see that. Here's a hepatic vein, I can see that. But this is a hepatic portal vein. That doesn't look like that one, but it's named differently. These are the mesenteric veins down here. So some of the veins are named differently in the guts compared to... But it depends on which board you have. That's all the magic I can tell you other than just pure plug and chug point and name. Where was the... Um... The azygos, those are veins in your chest, and they're not on the board boys. So they would be on man with wheels if you took his chest off. They're behind all this, so you'd have to take all this out to find those in the back. So I you'll usually be don't using, You'll be using these boards and yes. the man to yes. point your pointers on? Yes. So if you can't see it on here, then... Then you wouldn't have to learn on that. Phenomenal. So but we will on the other, right? If I can find them on the other easily, just you. Just, 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 just you. Just you. <laughs> some, some of the ones that you can't see, I have been known to use a paper.